Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Chris Nanzawini. And I'm Mike Biermeister. Students all over the country walked out of their high schools in support of the 17 people who lost their lives a week ago in Parkland, Florida. And students from Alpena High did the same after school tonight to attend a silent vigil. Our Elijah Baker has the story. People are bad. People do this. But it's also guns. We have to have faith in our humanity and community like this. Students and other members of the community stood in silence for the 17 people killed at Majory Stoneman Douglas High School on Valentine's Day. We have decided, my extras, my mother and I, that we just wanted to have a quiet space so that people in our community could come together just to unify and to remember um, the um, victims of um, the Florida school shooting. Amanda organized a silent vigil and said it's important to stay strong for those who are hurting because there's so much anger and fear. We have to make a change. Something has to change. It just reminds me how close my friends were to this incident and I have friends down there less than an hour away. So I was terrified on Valentine's Day. Connie has friends who live near Parkland, Florida and on February 14th she said her heart dropped when she heard about the shooting. So she did what anyone would do when they hear terrible news. Yes, I contacted them and they are completely fine. As she stands remembering the handful who faced an unexpected end, Connie shared with me what she would say to the gunman if he stood in front of her. You are, I'm afraid of you, you hurt people. You can never take those 17 lives back nor will you ever be able to. These kinds of things can happen anywhere, and I think it's wonderful when the community comes together and, and can express their, their sorrow and their interest and their compassion to others, just as others would do for us if we were in the same situation. Perhaps during that unity of love and peace that we can come together and start talking about our concerns, our fears, and hopefully come up with some um, ideas to keep, to continue to keep, thankfully keep our community safe. Amanda says she plans to partner with parents from the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting to gather resources and bring restoration in the community. Elijah Baker, WBKB News.